Redneck Garage. Well, 15 years ago, my Jeep rolled off this very assembly line shown behind me. And those 15 years have been hard on my Jeep. It's been up in New Jersey, and the frame's got some rust on it. My goal is to save the frame without having to replace it, fix anything that's damaged, and also treat it for future use so it's going to have a lot more years of service in it. So let's take a look at the frame and what I'm doing on it and how it looks worse than it really is. You can see on the suspension that the, the TJs over the YJs is a coil suspension, right? And needs some cleaning badly. However, um, the shocks are completely worn out for sure, rusted. Um, we're going to take all that stuff off and clean it really well. Put in new ball joints. I'm going to order some new ball joints um, for the front end while we got it apart. Might as well put those in. Um, brakes I'm going to inspect. But we've got rough country, baby. Rough Country is going to be one of our cool suppliers this year at the Redneck Garage. And uh, it's got new springs, new shocks, very, very cool stuff. We're going to be starting that here in a little bit also. Um, while the motor's being rebuilt and at the machine shop, we can also be working on the frame, suspension, and all that. But we're going to be cleaning off this frame and see how clean it'll be and see if there's any damage that we have to repair. Um, I don't really see any. The frame, while it's kind of flaky and nasty looking, Looks like if we get it cleaned up and treat it real well, I think we're going to be okay. There's no big holes in it or anything except for that rear um, right back with the back. All right, so kind of here's an example. Um, this is the frame after I wire wheeled it with a good uh, brush. It still needs a little more work, but just gives you an example of just hitting it with the brush. The frame actually looks a lot better than it did as compared to this. This is what it did look like. And... Uh, cleaned out these holes they were full of dirt and mud for the bumper stop but you can clearly see that the frame over on this side versus where I wire re wire wheeled it um, it looks much much better and I may get a little sandblaster to get the spots I can't get with a wire wheel I'll treat it and then I'll paint it with some chassis saver black and we're gonna clean out the interior of the frame and start spraying some Eastwood uh, internal frame coating to protect it. That's the frame update man. I'm really pretty happy about how it's starting to after it's cleaned up that it looks like for the most part I'm going to be able to save the frame without having to do a lot of welding. Um, that back corner is going to be bad. Clean up all the front end components. We got the Rough Country uh, lift kit to go on and that's going to take all that stuff off and clean the junk out from there. Got a cutting torch if we need it. Under the truck one of the things that I noticed is see this hole here uh, and there's a couple more. I need to really clean out this frame rail before I try to spray that Eastwood frame coating on it. Um, these holes are clogged up and that, that will hasten um, the rusting of the frame itself. Now, there's no big holes in it like I've seen in a lot of the Wranglers, so we're going to go back with the needle descaler, the wire wheel, and just continue working backwards. Right at the top of it isn't too bad. Uh, trying to clean this off as well as we can and then treat it for rust and then go on down the road and see what happens because I believe I actually believe that we caught this in time before the frame rusts completely out so we're gonna treat it and uh, as we go it may get worse you know I may find that the frame is actually worse than I thought but for the most part um, it's not too bad and I'm gonna clean it out get all this scale off of it and uh, and treat the crap out of it and we'll see how it goes it looks like it may need new brake lines so I may go ahead and just replace all the brake lines while I got everything off it make it a lot easier to do that you can get a brake line kit in fact I think I'm going to do that those look bad but as we go along I'm finding that it's not too awful bad uh, not more than I expected once I get the shocks off I can clean off in there and all this painted and cleaned up um, will be super cool okay so this is the needle scaler from Harbor Freight. And this is the mini one, the mini needle one. They had a bigger one. But I'm using a wire wheel on most of this stuff here. Um, so a lot of this is coming off with just a good wire wheel. But there are spots where this is flaky. Can, can you kind of see right there? And let me show you what it does.
How cool is that, man? So this was a great purchase from Harbor Freight. It was like 29 bucks, $39, something like that. This thing works great. You can get replacement tips for it. But this is how the other side started coming out on this side, and I was really happy with that. And as long as you can stop the rust, you're in good shape. Now, I've got some... I, I painted some... Uh, rust converter on it and it's starting to turn black and it will be black after it, it dries up it's kind of cold out here and then over that I can put some chassis saver paint I may end up putting a bumper coating but as long as I get most of the rust off and put some converter on it uh, and then some rust uh, converter paint I think we're gonna be fine on the frame I think we caught it in time for the majority of it and that looks really good so we're gonna be working on the rest of the frame just going backwards with the with the wire wheel like this one and the needle descaler uh, going back all the way back and hopefully there won't be any more bad spots besides that one rear corner okay that's gonna be it on the frame today I'm trying to do shorter videos to, you know so you're not watching like an hour of me going oh here's a frame here's the doors here's the hood so that's kinda of where I'm gonna keep these videos is is kind of a uh, uh, here's this part that I'm working on today and how cool is that give you just progress on little bits and pieces as we go along so you can follow along as we're doing it rather than you know wait till I get a lot of it done and then go oh here it's finished um, hopefully these videos may help you be able to do your own Jeep or some repairs on your own and that's really my goal the redneck garage is here for you <laughs> so I'm gonna get back to uh, doing a little bit more framework and then go to work cuz I got stuff to do David from Redneck Garage keep turning wrenches